Good morning. I am decided to do videos of making simple food and simple breakfasts and stuff. And I do all, every morning I do like a little yogurt fruit bowl and it's super beneficial and everything. And um, so here we go. I'm gonna use, today I got a whole yogurt, organic probiotic deal. I also like this uh, coconut based yogurt. I always get the stuff that doesn't have any sugar and it's just, it's just the yogurt. And uh, I like having yogurt because it's for your gut health. And so every time I make something, it's for purposeful things. You know, it's every, every food is medicine. So I make sure I'm doing that. Next, I have some old fashioned rolled oats. And uh, again, I just, Always try to get organic if it's available. And I'm just gonna put a handful. I don't need a ton of oats, but I do like some carbs, complex carbohydrates, uh, in, and it adds a good texture. So I do that. I just kind of go around the outside. And the, the thing I learned too, is I want to make like a little art project. You know, I want to, I can I want to make something beautiful and like sometimes a food could be kind of boring if it's just by itself but then if I can make an art project out of it and I make it beautiful so now I also have these blackberries and I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of adorn let's see what we could do here I'm gonna slice these up I mean, that looks cool you know so I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna do a little thing with these and I rinsed these off already and um, but I, I learned that um, you need know, to put this care and love into your food and your food is, it's more like you want to eat it and you want it to, you know, it, it, you're putting positive energy and positive intent into the food. Next, I'm gonna do strawberries. It's very important, if you're gonna get strawberries, it's important to get organic strawberries. Um, as far as other vegetables go, strawberries are like a sponge for chemicals and things. And so, like that's one of the ones, like certain other ones, you, you know, it's not like as important, but, um, So, let's see what I got going on here. And I just have fun with this. It's just like something I do. It doesn't take that long, but it's just like a little creative practice that I do in the morning. I don't have a specific way. I just like to kind of go go at this. And you know what? It, what's important, you know, with your food, if you can. Um, uh, get as much of a color of a rainbow as possible, you know, like you're getting a full color spectrum in your food, you're getting a lot of nutrients that way just based off, based, based off colors. And so I like to be kind of purposeful and deliberate with that. So, so we've got so far. Next, I wanna add some cacao, some cocoa. It's just like the 100%, there's no sugar or anything in this. So, um, here we go. Oh, these are the pellet kind. So I have some shavings also, but the pellets are cool. They kind of like, they're like little chips, you know? So I'm gonna do, it says a serving of these is, six wafers so maybe we'll just see like put about six of them in here that might be good and i like um i like the cacao or cocoa uh especially like mixing it with the fruit your fruit gives the um has a sweetness and um look at that There's six of them this is looking pretty pretty and um so i kind of allow the fruit to be the sweetener of of what it is. And I want to put honey in there too. I might be out of honey. 
Next, um, I'm gonna get some pistachios. I'm kinda getting to the bottom of the barrel on my ingredients, I need to go back to the store. But um, these are just raw pistachios. And um, so they're not very flavorful. They don't have a ton of salt on them. But again, they're mixed with the other things to kind of get the flavor. So that's the, the hope here is that I'm, I'm making them flavorful. Let's see what I'm doing. And I think, I mean, I'm not in a hurry. This is like a meditative practice for me and, and, I'm, and I just enjoy it. I enjoy like making something very delicious looking and everything is intentful. Um, the reason I would use the pistachios is they're high in, in um, the good fat and they're high in protein. I also like using pumpkin seeds a lot. I was all out of pumpkin seeds today. So I'm going with the pistachios. Next, I'm gonna find some, some chai seeds. So, let's look in the fridge. Um, yeah, here we go, some chai seeds. Chai seeds are also for your gut health. And they have a lot of omega-3, your um, omega-3 fatty acids. And so, especially if you're trying to go on a more plant-based diet, you get a lot of protein and a lot of your fatty acids that you don't get from a lot of other things with this. So I'm going to just sprinkle some of this on. And what I'd like to do, I mean, artistically, I would put the chai seeds, chia seeds on first. And um, I'm going to put some more nuts in here too. And kind of make it more aesthetically, like with the with the fruit, so the fruit looks better for the for the picture. And um, you know, it's like when something looks pretty, you wanna you wanna consume it. You know, it, it just looks delicious and inviting, and it makes very nutritious food more more desirable. Mm. Something else, I started doing this, and at first I felt like I need a lot of sweetener and things, and as I keep going, I keep toning back all my sweetener stuff. But coconut, I'm gonna use coconut, kind of another sweetener thing, uh, and it's pretty. So, I'm gonna sprinkle coconut around here. And then I have, I got this stuff, um, dragon fruit powder, and, um, I'm just gonna just, I don't really know, like it doesn't really say what it does, I haven't really looked it up, but I did a cleanse once, and part of the cleanse was saying get dragon fruit powder and put it in your smoothie. So, I'm just gonna take some, and I just kinda like it for the, you can see what I got so far with my little, my little fruit, yogurt fruit bowl art project. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some of the, it's like graffiti now, you know, I'm just kinda getting these, these other colors in there. And um, voila. And what I what I want to do next is um, I'd either put agave or or local honey on top. And uh, local honey is the reason you use local honey and local raw honey is that you're going to have the al um, the stuff for the allergens for your local allergies. So a tablespoon of local raw honey a day is good for your allergies. Anyways, that was it. Um, uh, pretty fun and simple way to start your day. Thanks for watching.